everybody, welcome, welcome. My name is Monty, and you are watching Mod Mod Games, and I will be your professor today at Mortal Kombat 101. Ah, yes, stuff. So I put the pictures there, but I didn't put anything in. So here is our MK1 lore board. Starting, starting it. We're starting it. Okay. <laughs> this is the beginning. The beginning. So. As I've talked about before, we have three katanas, three versions of certain characters. So this katana, the past katana, is Katana Khan, right? Becomes Khan when she brings together, when she brings together the forces of Outworld. Yes. So that's Katana Khan, right? And she helps she helps in the final battle against Cro Kronika. Katana Khan is also from the past. Brought in by Kronika. There is this katana, Katana Queen of the Nether Realm. This katana died <laughs> died during Sindel's attack uh, in nine has been a menace to um, has been a menace to our heroes since MKX so she's been ruling alongside Liu Kang if y'all remember um, and she was not one of the ones we healed I think we healed Scorpion and Jax in the in those, I was gonna say the nether regions. No. <laughs> so that's what happened there. And then from this katana, what we know is she is the sister, so MK1 katana, sister to Melina. Like for realsies this time, for realsies, Melina's no longer an experiment. We took her out of the basement and now she is a full fledged sister. Sister. Um. And daughter to Sindel. So she knows about the secret. Um, a lot of the public want her to lead instead. She knows about Melina's secret. So I'm gonna mark everybody who has like a different version of their selves in brown. So Melina, this Melina. I don't think she has a, an appearance in 11 that is like canon. Because from my understanding, Melina, made by Shang Tsung from Kitana's DNA in the Flesh Pits, MK9, and then uh, led an, a rebellion against Kotal. Khan in X died in X when she was executed by Devora. By Devora. So Melina killed by Devora. So this one's dead. This this version of Melina is dead. Rest in peace. Let's change this color to red. Red signifies who killed who. And rip. So this Melina is the heiress of Outworld. So she's infected with Tarkot. And from my understanding as well, I think she's dating Tanya. I think her and Tanya are together. I don't know that for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's a thing. So God bless. So Shao Kahn, brought in by Kronika from the past, beaten by Katana in the Colosseum. I think it's spelled with a K. In the Colosseum, where she became Khan. But he's not dead. If we saw, like I said, I don't know if um, Aftermath is canon, and so that's Shao Kahn. General Shao, 
Do we, do we know anything about General Shao? Let's fill him in as well. Born into a proud military family, Shao was expected to become a soldier, but he was a sickly child who, through brilliant and e though brilliant and eager, had an infirm body. Shao's disability infuriated his father. He dismissed his son's physicians and designed an extreme program to build his son's strength and endurance. It was Peloton. Years of toil molded Shao into a physical col colossus and forged within him an iron will. And as his father promised, Shao became the perfect soldier. His brilliant tactics and relentless effort won outworld many victories and him much fame. Though General Shao was sworn to serve the Empress, his loyalties. His loyalty is to with Outworld. If Sindel's rule ever endangers Outworld, he will be the first to try to end it. Interesting. Interesting way to phrase that. Uh, loyal to Outworld, grew up with a disability, and <laughs> exercise this way out of it. <laughs> Would fight Sindel if she endangered. Interesting. I think them adding that in is a huge indicator of what might happen. Sindel, if I remember correctly, was killed by Nightwolf. So this version of her. Uh, wait, hold on. She died. Firstly, she, she firstly died um, when Shao Kahn invaded her realm. And then, from what I remember, brought back by Shang Tsung and Shao. Was it Shang Tsung or was it Quan Chi? I don't remember, but that was back in nine. And then Sindel um, killed everybody in that one cutscene that was crazy. And when, after she killed everybody, she uh, got killed by Nightwolf. Hey yo, shout out to Nightwolf. And then uh, became one of the uh, revenants in MKX. That's Sindel. That's Sindel's story. So let's go over here. I actually feel that a lot for the Shirai Ryu already. But <laughs> this scorpion, the scorpion that we just that we just watched perish, rip in peace. God, y'all. Like I said, Devora. Devora's body count is crazy, 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 crazy. And, um, but switched sides back in MKX when Raiden purified him and Jax. If y'all remember that cutscene, um, the other notable thing that he did do in that game was killed Quan Chi. He did do that. So, rip to the goat. Rip to this goat. But the crazy thing about Mortal Kombat 11 is... The crazy thing about Mortal Kombat 11 is... There's two versions of each character. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so this version of Scorpion from the past brought in by Kronika. Switch sides speaking to uh, Grandmaster. Hasashi. He ended up fighting for us. For the side of good in the end. So that's Scorpion's story. Yeah, Grandmaster Kwai Liang. Uh, uh, when did he take over? Stopped being a cyborg after nine. He turned into a cyborg during, during nine. Stop being one after nine. He also became a uh, revenant too, if I remember correctly. He became a revenant after he was killed by Sindel. But when he came back, I think that's when he stopped. Cyborg Sub, -Sub Zero, wild, wild, uh, <laughs> wild, wild character. So that happened. Became Grandmaster. Took over the. Not the Shirai Ryu, the uh, Lin Kuei after wrestling control from C 
Sector. Um, and now we have a different kind of Sub-Zero, who, who is still the Grand Master of the Lin Kuei. But under his leadership, he seeks to drag the Lin Kuei out of the shadows to make them one of the great nations. And our Scorpion, or MK1 Scorpion, is a little uncomfortable with that fact. Also, they're brothers, so... We don't know what happened to Shirai Ryu, we don't know if they're mentioned, we'll see. So Smoke, I filled out already, um, his family was killed by the Lin Kuei during a hunt. The Grand Master took Smoke in and raised him alongside his sons. Um, so that's what the website says. And then so, Smoke in this timeline though, died during Sindel's assault on the heroes in MK9. So if y'all remember that, he was one of those guys. And he became a revenant, serving under Quan Chi and then Liu Kang. And he's kind of stayed in that revenant form forever. <laughs> he's still there. <laughs> he's still there. So, here's some other members. Um, Li Mei, first constable. So she was claimed by the Umgadi at a young age. Um, after a terrible tragedy, which I'm wondering whether or not that's the death of Jared. After a tr terrible tragedy, quit the Ungadi, joined the Outworld Police Force. So that's, that's her in this new timeline. In the old timeline though, she did make a small cameo in MKX. She was one of the refugees. All right, Baraka. Baraka in this timeline, was a was a merchant who contracted Tarkat saw that his fellow Tarkatans were had given up and decided to become their leader. So Baraka activist. So this uh, Baraka. General Baraka, brought in from the past by Kronika, joined Kitana against uh, Shao Kahn during her coup, promise to rule beside her. So that's General Baraka. But this Baraka from this actual timeline though is killed. <laughs> So this is the one that um, competed in MK9 and killed by Devora in X. I think, yeah, he might have sided with Kotal, I don't remember, but this Baraka was killed. So Baraka no longer has all of this military expertise that his predecessors had. Now he's a merchant, which I think is a very interesting take on Baraka, as they, they prom- they said that we were uh, gonna get reimaginings of these characters, and so that's what they're giving us. Um, Tanya, I didn't include a different version of her because she, because uh, that was DLC in X. The Royal Family's personal guard has a secret relationship with Melina. Rain. Of sorcery st student hoping to learn the realm's darkest and most powerful sorcery powerful and dark sorcery interesting so that's rain so reptile is a Zeteran um, a reptile race on the outskirts of outworld and turn into a human. My poor, my poor boy was bullied for this, and so he left. And now he's one of the good guys. But this reptile is different. In fact, I don't even remember what he did. <laughs> I don't remember what he did in MK, MKX. I remember he sided with, I think, Melina. I remember fighting him as Takeda. That's what I remember. But I don't remember what else he did. I don't think, and he doesn't show up again in 11. All I remember is that he sided with Melina. Havoc, Mr. Havoc, what do you have for me? Citizen of the 
Realm of Nibble the Sido, just so I can remember it. Um, member of the lower caste, so they have a caste system. Um, Realm of Order, when he is punished for a minor crime, decides that he wants to replace the government with a an anarchist utopia. So Ashra, demon from the nether realm, um, saw that the other realms lived in peace and fled from her fellow demons, found her Chris, which helped purify her souls by taking out her fellow demons. Demon Slayer. I love that anime. Mr. Giris. Reconstructed by Liu Kang at the dawn of his dawn of his universe. He his job is to make sure that the timeline fits Liu Kang's vision. All right, so this Liu Kang was the past Liu Kang that they brought in, and he has inherited Chronicus powers. Meanwhile, this Liu Kang, Revenant Liu Kang, uh, killed by Raiden, during nine ruled nether realm in X, sided with Kronika during eleven, and then did he die? Oh no, I remember. Was merged with the current Liu Kang in a battle against Raiden. I feel like I'm getting caught up in 12 seasons worth of a soap opera. <laughs> I'm telling you, the Mortal Kombat story is very convoluted because of all the times that they've reset this entire timeline. And so, um, I am glad to make this lore board just to kind of make sense of it all. Because there's so much going on. There's so much going on. Okay, so Earth Realm. From the Earth Realm is Johnny Cage. An action star still. Um, fighting to stay relevant and thought that joining Liu Kang could help with that. On the other hand, the Johnny Cage that we have here, the two Johnny Cages, he is a father to Cassie. He's also a widow now, a widow, widower to um, Sonia. And I think he's just a little bit more of a a wiser man. He's, I think he's definitely a wiser man as a father. Beat Shinnok in X. One of the only survivors of Sindel in 9. Keep all of that in mind with this Johnny. Uh, meanwhile, young Johnny Cage, brought in from the past by Kronika, fought for the side of good. Next is, let's do Kenshi next. Also, Kenshi Takahashi, the actor who plays him, he has these videos on certain channels where it's like martial artist reacts to um, Tekken, reacts to Mortal Kombat. He has like these like sets of YouTube videos out for that. And it's cool that now he's in a fighting game. Member of the Yakuza must battle to prove his worth starting by retrieving Sento. Um, his version, if I remember correctly, he does have another version. This handsome gentleman, seasoned, seasoned man, fought with the side of good against Shinnok, had a son, uh, which is Takeda, my husband, who I love so much, Takeda, and that's what he did. There's also a scene in the crypt where he died, but I don't know if the crypt is canon. 
so I'm not sure. Shigen Conroy says, There's so many people that are different people of the same person who are also different versions of a person. <laughs> <laughs> I am telling you, this Mortal Kombat has really convoluted itself with how many times they've reset their universe. Am I eating it up every time? Yes. But is it convoluted? Yes. <laughs> this is why all, my, all of my years playing Kingdom Hearts games have prepared me for this moment. <laughs> have prepared me for this okay now let's look at these uh these these boys these these young lads who are who are uh really powerful warriors in the original timeline but now they're cabbage farmers all right cabbage farmer number one raiden god of thunder this raiden if we remember from the trailers is the champion of earth realm um from a village in i think it said fengjian fengjian kind hearted kind hearted kind hearted raiden good raiden good guy raiden good guy raiden meanwhile evil raiden <laughs> tortured uh uh, uh shinnok right before he killed him went all dynasty warriors on the on the uh, armies of the nether realm during the attack on during the attack at the begin beninging of 11 took on the power of Shinnok's amulet. Also, we can't forget that this is the Raiden in 9 who <laughs> reset the timeline in the first place. And then this Raiden, though, is the past Raiden, <laughs> who is not the young Raiden. Broke the cycle of fighting between him and Liu Kang. Fought in the war against Kronika, um, gave up his powers at the end of that fight and became regular Raiden. Regular man Raiden. And now we have Kung Lao. Who I think is the last one before we have to do readings. So, Kung Lao. Raised in the fields, yearns for meaning in his life and finds it being called to be one of the champions. But this Kung Lao though from this timeline was killed by Shao Kahn, if y'all remember that crazy scene, back in 9 and then brought back as a revenant by uh, Quan Chi and has served there ever since. One of the final fighters to defend Kronika, along with, I think it was Jade, it was Jade, Katana, and Kung Lao. And then this Kung Lao though, who's a good guy, good guy Kung Lao, joined the forces of good after being summoned from the past by Kronika. Not much else. Not much else with his character. We have completed everyone that we've like already read through in the past. And so let's give a gander at the new ones. Let's see. Look at, let's look at these new characters. I didn't read Sindel's onward, so we're gonna begin with the Queen, Mommy, Mom, Sindel, Empress of Outworld. When Sindel ascended to Outworld's throne, she worried that she was ill-prepared. According to her, adding to her stress, her impending arranged marriage to Jared, an Outworld noble, forced into it, forced into it to placate a rebellious region, Sindel could only pray that he was worthy. To Sindel's delight, Jared proved an ideal partner. Her early reign marked the start of a new golden age. 
Sindel then welcomed her beautiful da twin daughters, Melina and Katana. She thanked the gods for her charmed life. But Sindel had counted her blessings too quickly. When Jared was murdered, Sindel's heart was broken. Smelling weakness, factions formed to challenge her rule. As her enemies conspire, Sindel fights to protect her family and her empire. She will do whatever it takes to defend her daughter's birthright. Interesting. Um, this, these factions are the first I've heard of them. So I wonder if the Tarkatans are one. Um, I wonder if whatever Natara is a part of is one of them. And I wonder if General Shao is forming his own behind the scenes as well. Um, Natara. <clears throat> Megan Fox, heroine of v Viternus. Natara's race of vampires hails from the dark and desolate realms of Viternus. To survive, they evolve the ability to feed on the blood of other creatures. I wonder if um, Scarlet's going to make an appearance there. The Viternians thrived building a great society, but as their comfort grew, so did their short-sightedness. They overfed on Viternus' creatures, disrupting the natural order. They now starve as it collapses. It is Natara's solemn obligation to deliver her people from hunger and save her race. Viternus must survive. I already think that the Viternus people are going to be one of the factions. So I'm already feeling like Havoc and Natara are going to be leading factions. I think Barak is going to be leading a faction. Um, maybe Reptile if the Zaterans are seeking um, land as well. Maybe them. All right, two more. Shang Tsung. No longer, no longer the original actor from, from the thing. Super sad. Shang Tsung grew up in Outworld's backwaters. Too lazy for hard labor and too shifty for honest work, he eked out a living selling quack cures and fake magic. Though his wares were useless, Shang Tsung's easy charm always closed the deal. Shang Tsung was resigned to his hard scrabble life, but then one day a mysterious stranger came promising to make Shang Tsung a powerful sorcerer. Though suspicious of the offer, it was one he couldn't refuse. And now we know that that mysterious offer, or that mysterious stranger, was Kronika. So I think that, that the, the disruption that Liu Kang's fighting against seems to be Kronika and Shang Tsung. But I think they might, he might be referring to Kronika, who's kind of like a slippery little eel who's uh, trying to mess with his timeline. So this Shang Tsung, from this timeline, died uh, when Shao Kahn gave his life force to Sindel. Ran the tournament. But this Shang Tsung, I'm not sure if this guy is canon, if his return in this is canon or not. Because um, like I said, aftermath, we don't know. But we're unsure if that is canon. Mr. Reiko, Mr. Reiko. Oh, Lieutenant. Interesting. Reiko was a boy when he and his family were captured during the Kafala War. Though his family died, Reiko fought and survived. After spending months as a prisoner, Reiko was freed during a raid by General Shao. Despite his youth and small size, Reiko attacked his former captors and exacted bloody revenge. Impressed by the boy's spirit, General Shao made Reiko his squire. Under his tutelage, Reiko learned the ways of war. He became an exceptional soldier and is now the general's second in command. Reiko's loyalty to General Shao is absolute. He will live and die by his orders. Interesting. But this Kronika died when we beat her <laughs> in the land of the dinosaurs. So she's dead. She's gone. Rip in peace. But now she's back. What's that? What's that line in Star Wars? Somehow Kronika survived. But this katana, I didn't. I forgot about this. Came with Liu Kang at the dawn of time, and now they are both shaping history. Did that? I'm super confused. I'm super duper confused, and I'm wondering if they're gonna retcon that completely? Like, if they're just gonna be like, oh, no, that didn't happen. Or if they're gonna honor that. So, I don't know. But that is, 
That is our lore board. Okay, so I'm gonna add some questions that I have, right? Some questions, some predictions. Old Raiden is the ancestor to young Raiden. Prediction. Uh, 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 young Raiden is going to rebel against uh, the god Liu Kang the same way Liu Kang did in the previous timelines. So there, that fight's gonna happen again, I think. I think another foregone conclusion is that prediction Scorpion is going to battle against uh, Sub-Zero, who becomes a bad guy. Um, but I do have some other questions. So before we end, question, where is the Jinsei? Where is Shinox Amulet? That's the question I have. Question. What is the state of the Shirai Ryu? Question. What role do the the elder gods play? Uh, what role does the cyber initiative play? So I'll pretty it up um, over the weekend before we uh, do our first playthrough of Mortal Kombat on Tuesday. That'll be super fun, super exciting. I have been following this thing for a while and I'm excited. And actually before we finish with Mortal Kombat today, I wanted to show y'all my character predictions list to see where we stacked up, right? Where we ended up. So. Um, here are my original guesses, and I gave my gave like a point system here, right? So here's the full roster, and here is where I thought that they would end up, right? So when I made this, these guys were already revealed, so um, no change to my points. These guys I definitely thought were gonna come in, so A. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 16 points. These guys I thought were maybe gonna come in. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 24 points. These guys I thought probably not, so I subtracted a point. Two, three, four, five, six. What's that? 18. <laughs> 18. And on these guys, I said, no way, Jose, they are not coming in. So minus two points. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh, by a nose hair, by a nose hair, y'all. Taking all that to account, the math is plus two. So, I got more right than I got more wrong. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, there we go. So, there we go. I got more right than I got wrong. And the game is coming out next week for the rest of us poors. Um, <laughs> if you if you already have the game and are enjoying it, God bless, God bless, God bless. Um, I hope you all are enjoying it, enjoying your first weekend with it. Um, I'll be playing it with the rest of us who can't afford the 100 and something dollars for it on Tuesday. <laughs>